Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on the June 14th. Good morning to you, Mark. Good to see you, Ken. Grant, Rich, Brian, everybody, Deb, everyone. All right, good morning, everybody. So happy Friday, everybody. It is a beautiful day here in New York, so I think it's going to be kind of on the light side if everybody wants to kind of like run out of here and kind of go out to enjoy their nice little summer weekend. But um, there are a couple of things that are moving. We're going to check them out. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. Uh, just really quick, um, if you notice up on the screen, we got a couple of things regarding upcoming events. Don't forget, next week starts the new cycle of the courses. Uh, going to Thursday, uh, uh, starting 18th, 20th, and 25th. And then most importantly, everybody, it's right around the corner, September 10th to the 12th, plus a day of soiree. Uh, we have the, the, the Cyber Trader Summit here, here, here in New York. It's our biggest event. I think it's, uh, I think it's our seventh, eighth of the year so far. Um, eight years running on that summit. So if you haven't booked your tickets yet, go ahead and let us know and get that thing done. Best event ever. All right. So let's go right into talking about what happened yesterday. There were a couple of stocks that are moving. There are a few move are they moving this morning, shockingly. You know, uh, some of them that I thought were going to move yesterday. They might be moving today, but we're going to check them out a little bit. Overall, listen, the market was kind of flat. I mean, it really, really was. Uh, th there was this one stock that made a nice little move right here, the CBAY, a little bit of a bottom fish right there. You could see that stock went from 12 down to 5. This one made a little bit of a comeback right there. Kind of did in the middle of the day, went from 6 to 660. Not a huge winner, you know, but it was something. Listen, early in the week, we did really, really well. And you just got to put in your time. You really got to put it, you know, when it, when it comes to trading. Other than that, I don't think there's really that much more to talk about what moved yesterday. But there are some of the things that are moving this morning. And uh, one of them that I thought was going to move yesterday was the SVRA trade. Now, that stock got destroyed yesterday. You can see that stock just got killed. Went from like 13 all the way down to like 2. Came back a little bit. She's up 1.5%. Um, I got my eyes on it. I, sometimes you get a dead cat bounce on certain stocks. Some people feel they want to get back into it. I, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll throw on the watch list. Maybe we'll get a dead cat bounce on it. Um, but there are a couple other ones that are also moving. The big one is obviously, which is the one that we had right here? Kind of delete by accident. So the, the, the ARQL trade right here. This is probably the only one uh, this morning at 9 o'clock this morning I, I kind of was a little bit a fan of. It's up about 44%, biggest, biggest percentage gainer on the market right now. If you got here around 8 o'clock this morning, you should have got in around 8.50. Uh, it did this little shake right around 8.50 right there, but it just kind of went right back up. It's got some big, big buyers right around here around 9 at 9. I'm looking at the level 4. Got uh, 9 is a really, really good number right now. And you can see it's been kind of, it looks like it's doing its uh, three shake bounce right here. So we'll see what happens at the nine. But right now, this is probably the strongest stock out there. You can see you got a lot of orders. One thing that concerns me is, though, there's a lot of hundred share orders out there. And that's what, that's what I would be a little concerned about. But you, you're right around there. Um, you enter right around 927, Ken. Did you get that one a little late? Just, um... Looks like you're right in the middle of no, man land, no man's land right there. I hate it's like you're in the building and you're like right smack in the middle. The uh, one stock I'm telling, I just want to kind of bring a couple of China stocks up there. You guys remember NIO, NIO, the IPO that we did? We did really, really well with that. I mean, this is like the this is like uh, the competitor to Tesla. And I tell you. Everybody, they want to come and they want to, you know, these China stocks want to come here to the United States and, and, and go public. But sure enough, I guess that company's not doing that well. And all, I, all I'm bringing up is that one thing we all have to learn, and that's why you're here, is that we made a lot of money with this stock. But when the things don't go your way, you got to know when to get out. And a lot of us, we traded this stock when it went public. We owned it around six. It went to 13. I know a lot of us got around at out around 11, uh, 10, made a little bit, not as well as I thought we would make. And then we had that nice little rally. Uh, you could see right, you know, right in like April when it went to like seven to 10. 
And then after that, it just tanked. And let me tell you, I was really, really close on doing a swing trade on this position. And let me tell you, I lost some money on this trade, okay? And, and you know when I knew when to get out of it? When it broke the $6 support level. When it broke that major support level, look where it is now, 250 So the point I'm trying to get to, you know, regarding about what to trade and what not to trade when stocks are moving, you got to remember one very important thing. Um, you can't go broke, you know, taking a loss, okay? You can go broke holding it forever, and sure enough, this stock could file bankruptcy. I mean, it really could, and it's okay to get out of positions. And remember, you know, I talked to a lot. We've we, we done, uh, done a lot of events this week, and I always just tell everybody, and you guys know this too, it's not about the winners. The winners take care of themselves. It's the losers you have to worry about. You know, nobody wants to talk about the losers, and we sure enough like to. And I'm just bringing up this position because I, I just went back to it. It came up on my radar, and I'm like, damn, thank God we got out of that stock. And let me tell you, there's a lot of them like that. So just always take good notes. Do your journals that you were trained because it's these things that are going to teach you why you should get in and why you should get out. Now, listen, going through the watch list, I mean, if you look here on the, the hot list, the – Here's a stock that's up 36%. You know we're not going to trade the stock, right? Um, you know, 19 cents. You're not going to trade the stock. And you could see we did trade it not too long ago. We had that big rally on it, and it actually went lower than when it started because it was obviously a short squeeze. But overall, you know, there's not that much out there. Look at the socks, you know, 7%. You know, you know we're not in the 7% business. You know, we want stocks up 20%, 30%. Um, and plus, this is an ETF. And we know we're dealing with the best traders on Wall Street. So listen, as of right now, I'm not seeing a lot out there. I'm really not. I'm not seeing a whole lot. This is probably the smallest list. And you know what? That is normal going into the summer season. So what is the summer's best for? Learning. You don't want to learn September, October, November. Remember, that is the best months of the year to trade. But when you get days like this, you know, you got to take with a grain of salt. Could be a nickels and dimes type of day. Could also be a good day to take a day off and make it a nice three-day weekend. So, um, but we'll see how, how it goes when the market opens up because there's always something that, um, that opens up at the open that we usually catch later. But as of right now, guys, it doesn't look like anything out there other than if you got the ARQL earlier when you're supposed to log in. Yeah, I know I saw that. I heard the, uh, the Fed news uh, last week. Smart Money is sitting on the sidelines. Uh, moving money uh, to ETFs. I saw that too. And you saw a lot of ETFs moving that way. All right. We saw a lot of that yesterday. All right, guys. So good luck today. We'll see you back at 2.30. If I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. And, uh, you know, hopefully everybody here that's been, been, that's new to CTU, you're learning a lot because once again, not every day is a trading day and it's not trading's not for everyone, but it should be. So the only way to know is actually go out there and trying it. So hopefully you're learning a lot. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.